to a dramatic rescue at the World Trade Center. Two window washers dangling 68 stories above the ground off the tallest skyscraper in the country. ABC's David Wright is at One World Trade Center this morning with the latest. Good morning, David. Good morning, Robin. This morning, the broken platform has been removed and that window all the way up on the 68th floor that served as an escape hatch is set to be replaced today. Uh, the window washing company explains that what happened was that the cable on one side of the platform malfunctioned, creating this cliffhanger that had everyone on edge. 800 feet up and dangling on a precarious perch, their rig nearly vertical. These two window washers hung on for dear life. Tourists at Ground Zero looking up in horror. I've never seen anything like this before in my life. As firefighters race to rescue them. But now they have no option. They can't go back up. So we had to look at everything collectively. From the rooftop, one fire crew launched a second window washer's platform down as a failsafe. While inside the building, rescue team one cut through multiple panes of glass using these diamond blade saws. Made a doorway out of a window. Tricky task. An open window at this height could easily turn into a wind tunnel, like popping open the exit door on a plane in mid-flight. That's right. a long, oh. long drop down. Drop. A good job. An hour and a half later, the firefighters finally pull them to safety. Juan Lopez and Juan Lizama, suffering mild hypothermia, rattled, but otherwise unharmed. They must have been very relieved. Yeah, like I said, they were calm, just they, had, they couldn't go anywhere. You know, they're comfortable at that height. So it was okay. New York City window washers, like firefighters, train for this. For 20 years, the local union has required 216 hours of classroom instruction plus 3,000 hours apprenticeship before window washers can operate one of these rigs. On this day, all that training saved lives. Amazingly, we're told that the firefighters drilled this exact scenario here at this building just 10 days ago. You know, it used to be thought of that washing windows and skyscrapers in New York was one of the most dangerous jobs in the world. But it turns out that with modern safety gear, it's actually safer than driving a cab. Robin? We'll take your word for that. That would be scary, though, paying 68 stories up. But flat, everybody is okay, mm -hmm. and all that training paid off.